A former school teacher charged with molesting students is no longer running from the law. Authorities have located Dale Allen Elledge more than 150 miles from where he last lived in McLean County. Rusty Surrett has tracked this case for more than a year and is here now with the very latest developments. Rusty? Kelly, after learning that he was under investigation, authorities say Dale Elledge packed his stuff, sold his house, and then moved to far southeast Oklahoma, where he has been on the run. But tonight, his alleged victims say this man is finally back where he belongs. There's a lot McLean County inmates do when they're locked up. But chances are the county's newest inmate won't be doing this. That's because Dell Elledge is 73 years old. He suffers from dementia and Alzheimer's. It's easy to be sympathetic towards someone like this until you hear what Elledge is charged with. Six counts of uh, lewd molestation on uh, female victims. Those charges stem from the years Elledge spent as a school teacher at the Word of Life Church in Dibble. At least six of his former students say between 1998 and 2005, Elledge molested them. At the time, the alleged victims were seven, eight, and nine years old, and they say Elledge threatened to kill them if they ever told anyone. That's why the families are expressing relief over this latest development, especially since no one knew where he was. It keeps the families and the victims, uh, I would say, nervous. Uh, they want some close, some resolution, and Mr. Elledge has an opportunity now to, uh, to do that. Making his first court appearance on a live video feed from the county jail, Elledge said very little while his attorney argued for a lower bond. And the judge agreed, lowering the state's recommended bond from seventy-five to $25,000. We are concerned, obviously, with any crime of this nature, making sure that there's an appropriate bond to, to have the defendant reappear in court. Elledge is due back in court next month. In the meantime, he's been ordered to stay far away from the alleged victims. By the way, the U.S. Marshals found Elledge in Antlers, Oklahoma, by tracking his medical and social security records. Kelly? All right, Rusty. And some of the alleged victims of the, have also filed a civil suit against Elledge and the school. Uh, they claim the school's principal did nothing when they told her about the uh, molestation threat.